Welcome to Keysight Education Portal. Today, we will be going through the test development process for Keysight X1149 Software Guide. We will start by working on the first stage of a project, creating new project. First, select File, followed by New and then, Project. Thereafter, type in the file name and click Save. Now, we will proceed with data preparation. This will refer to the setup of the PCB board. Under Process Outline, go to Data Preparation and click on Define Boards. Next, click on Add. Type your board name. Finally, click OK. We will now conduct CAD import. Keysight X1149 netlist format for processing the project is in Keysight's board and board XY format. If we have board and board XY format for the project's design, we can straight away import them. If board and board XY are not available, we will have to import the CAD file to translate it into board and board XY. Firstly, highlight Bravo under board list. Click on import. Select the CAD file. Finally, click on next. Based on the CAD file imported, the CAD format is automatically recognized by the X1149 software. This will enable the CAD file to translate into 3070 board file which will be compatible with the software. If you have previously worked on the file that is aligned to Keysight, you may carry out the 3070 board import instead of the CAD file. Firstly, highlight Bravo. Click on Import. Select 3070 board, and finally click Next. Now. Proceed with selecting the board file by browsing the files in your directory. Afterwards, click Next. It is noted that both board and board XY must be checked. If the board file refers to libraries that are present in Custom Library and BSDL, you may choose to check them if you want to update these files. After you are done, click on Verify. After clicking on Verify, click on Save and Next. Following that, click on Finish. Now, we will move on to Define Devices. We will proceed to define devices by clicking on process outline, followed by data preparation and finally, define devices. The type of devices will be listed under all devices and will be showcased under the type heading. The types that can be defined includes, capacitor, connector, diode, fuse, inductor, jumper, potentiometer, resistor, switch and transistor. It will also showcase the part number in the BSDL files as shown. We will move on to define nodes. We will proceed to define nodes by clicking on the process outline, followed by data preparation and finally define nodes. Under all nodes, the node type will specify either high or low. For instance, 5 volts will reflect high whereas ground will reflect low. If you double click on one of the nodes, you can view the devices that are connected to the given node. You may also search the device designator under the filter text as shown. Now, we will proceed with building the chain. Under Process Outline, go to Configuration and click on Configure Chain. This will direct you to the Configure Chain tab as shown in this box. Click on Configure Chain here. We will now create the chain device list. Click on Next. Following that, we will select the chain we wanted to create. For this case, we will check the box under Select. Thereafter, select Finish. Ta-da! We have finally created a chain as shown in the chain graphic.